All right, so this is going to be uh, video two for taming down your monitors. And you can realistically apply this to pretty much any reptile that has any sort of intelligence to it. Um, what I've done is I added this ramp, and it is, I basically just ran it through my, uh, not tail saw, my miter saw, and just gave these grooves in here. And she's lately been crawling a lot at the uh, doors so I uh, open up the door and then I shut the door over there except I figured out sh I need to shin the bottom because she can still get out under it um, and when she's kind of ready I just leave her be she comes out and she can crawl around and explore and satisfy that curiosity and all that jazz but if you're wondering what that has anything to do with taming, here's where it becomes important. Prior to her leaving today, all that was in here, none of this upper floor stuff was in here except for that little two by four it added. Um, so we've got, probably easier to, so we got one big triangle shelf up here. The other half of that triangle shelf is square against the back. And then this ramp I put up here. This ramp actually serves two purposes. Well, I guess it's more of a shelf. One, it gives her a nice walkway. And then two, the plexiglass, because of the heat, has flexed in quite a bit. And it the added friction on the these rails makes it way harder to close than you'd think it would be. It I'm totally shocked at how hard it's been to open and close doors. So this will keep the plexiglass from flexing in. And they slide so much better now. So that takes care of that. Um, but keeping your, your reptiles engaged, keeping them from getting bored, is a big thing. The happier they are, the more likely they are to warm up to you. If they're unhappy and they're just agitated or depressed or sad, whatever terms you want to use for it, if they're anything but happy, it's going to be harder to tame them down to you because you know if you're irritated you don't want to be around people causing your irritation that's just how it is um, so this enclosure has about 16 square feet um, if you count but that's just square footage right here if you count the hide box up there you count the rail, the two by four, these other two shelves, we've almost doubled her square footage that she can climb around on. Cubic footage obviously hasn't changed, but we're just optimizing how we use that cubic footage. Uh, because obviously she's not using it in that space other than it's just air. So optimally use your enclosures and your reptiles and animals will be a whole lot happier. Um, I just had to do this in a way where it really didn't interfere with the lights and where, like, uh, originally I was gonna put this one over further so that the corners were kind of, that corner would be right there, but it's just too close to the lamps and I see my back ones burn out, I gotta replace that today. Um, but to keep her from getting near the lights, I just bumped it over the most important part of doing it this way is because she willingly left her house and she'll willingly come back in i'm not disturbing her i didn't force her out of her home or her comfort area um, she did it all by herself so while she's off you know exploring then i could come in and do all this without adding any stress to her so that is my tip number two